Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. In this video, I'm going to share you about uh, this IQ TWS. This one is IQ TWS 1E. And also there is a Vivo TWS is also launched recently. That is Vivo TWS 3E. Both TWS models are almost the same. So now in this video, I'm sharing you how to connect these earbuds and uh, what are all the app features, how to connect with the application in Android smartphone. Now this IQ TWS or Vivo TWS supported with the both auto pairing and manual pairing and it's supported with the Google Fosper connection also. But in the Google Fosper, there is slight issue in some smartphones. For the very first time, I connected with the OnePlus phone. In the OnePlus phone, in the Google Fosper connection, it not connected with the Google Fosper. Later on, I manually connected through the Bluetooth settings and once paid and after that i can able to see the google fosper dialog box you have to just click on the save then you it automatically linked with your google account for the google fosper settings then you can use the features like a find earbuds feature and you can see the case and earbuds battery percentage in the google fosper setting page so this is on the oneplus phone and when i connect in the realme smartphone and during that time the google fosper connection setting is actually works smoothly and also it's supported with the manual pairing to enter the manual pairing mode firstly you just uh, place both the earbuds into the case and keep the case door in the open condition and in the TWS here you can able to see the touch area now you just need to press and hold on both these TWS at this touch area for 5 seconds continuously or else you have to continuously press and hold until you can see the white light indication in the LED indicator so just open the case door and do like this so just to press and hold both the buds and also the buds should be in the case only so now as you seen here now the white light has been showing so now in your android phone you can see this google fosper dialog window just to click on the connect so now the device has been connected just to click on the done so now in this way you can easily connect uh, with your android smartphone and also this iq tw is supported with the dual connection so for this you need to manually connect to the uh, second device in which device you want to connect in the second device just to go to the bluetooth and enable it and uh, again go enter the manual pairing mode in your iq tws just to place both the earbuds in case and keep the case door in open condition and in both these buds in the touch area just to press and hold continuously until the white light uh, shows up in the led indicator so now the white light comes up flashes here so you can see this dialog box google fosper just to click on the connect so now that uh, IQ TWS 1E model is connected. Now once you connected the IQ TWS on the second device, now just to take your first device and in the paired device section, again click on the IQ TWS 1E. So now the IQ TWS again connected back with your first device also. So this IQ TWS supported with the dual connection always between two devices. So during if any calls received in any one device, you can speak calls using the IQ TWS also. And also you can hear the music in any device using this IQ TWS itself. So now once you connected with your uh, smartphone, now moving on to the app features. So for this IQ TWS, you need to install the Vivo earphones application. So there is no IQ earphones uh, application. You need to install the Vivo earphones. So you can able to see the application in the Google Play Store just to install it. And if you already paired with the Bluetooth settings means then you can easily able to see here just to click on this. So now once you entered into the IQ TWS, now I am actually using on the OnePlus phone. So in the OnePlus phone for this IQ TWS, I can't able to use most of the features. For example, the noise control is actually hidden and there is a deep exterior effect that is hidden. Shortcut action is hidden and under the more earphone setting option, earphone detection, it's supported with the in-ear detection. That option is also disabled. So I can't able to turn off the in-ear detection. So I am currently using on the OnePlus phone and they actually claims that uh, the earphones application and most of the features supported only on the Vivo and IQ smartphones for this IQ TWS uh, 1E model. And similarly, the same will be follows for the Vivo TWS also, I think. But when I connect this IQ 
AWS with the Realme phone. In the Realme phone, when I installed the Vivo earphones application, I can able to use all the features. For example, once I opened the application, after clicking on IQTWS, now I can able to see the left and right earbuds battery percentage, which is not actually showing on the OnePlus phone. When I installed the application on OnePlus phone, it not showing. And also one more thing is that in the application, the case battery percentage is not showing in the application. And under general configuration, it's similar to the Bluetooth setting option that same available in the application also. And here and under the sound option, I can able to see the transparency. I can adjust it, transparency, disabled and noise. I can able to view here. And here is a deep X stereo effect. So here now I can able to uh, change the equalizer modes. So by default, it actually in the standard mode only. I am now currently using the Emozu audiobooks. In all this EQ, I like the standard clear voice and uh, eSports sound effect and Emozu audiobooks. I mostly like this Emozu audiobooks EQ. So this is actually really good. So this EQ actually elevates both the vocals and as well as the bass sounds. So it actually really gives that uh, Emozu effect. And in some songs, you can able to experience that uh, 360 degree sound effect also when you selected this. And uh, under the standard effect also, you can uh, able to experience, but the effect will be less in the standard. But in the Emozu audiobooks EQ, the effect will be good. And in the clear voice, you can get the clear vocals so if you want a clear vocals in a song means you can set the clear voice that is also good and apart from this under the shortcut action and the touch actions are very limited so for this iqdws there is only a double tap option only and then there is a press and hold option for press and hold it's only for the changing the noise control modes so you can switch to between noise on and uh, noise cancellation transparency on and off or switch between noise cancellation and transparency or uh, switch between noise cancellation off and transparency in the regular mode or you can click on the none so you can't able to uh, use the volume control feature or next track previous track in the earbuds function in under the double tap function so there is a previous song and next song uh, setting option if you selected this option then you can't able to play pause the music using the buds using the earbuds play pause the music is a very mandatory so you can only able to do the play pause function in the earbuds and apart from that you can use the noise control switch over function in the buds so the touch actions are very limited only the double tap is available so you can't able to use the next song previous song function or a volume increase decrease function so there is a lot of functions are lacking in this iqtws and under the more earphone settings here the here is a earphone detection in case if you don't want the in-ear detection means you can turn it off here so actually the features are very less only in the iqtws well overall on this iqtws only model these are all the connection method and the app features